Happy Sunday evening, everybody. It's Hitman23, and I am coming on tonight to do my uh, YouTube All-Star Team ballot for Four Leaf Cards. Uh, Eric came on a few days ago and uh, made a video about, you know, putting together an All-Star Team of YouTube channels, and um, like he said, you know, it's been, you know, the ride... Um, Especially, you know, being, um, you know, being on YouTube now six or seven years, um, I've definitely noticed shout outs have definitely gone down. Like they used to be a pretty, you know, regular thing back five, six years ago. And they've just kind of tailed off a bit, you know, definitely over the last few years. And, um, you know, things change in the, you know, in the, uh, in the annals of YouTube. Uh, there's, um, you know. It happens. It's unfortunate, but it happens. Um, but uh, he is bringing back um, a way to shout people out, which I think is a great idea. And he wants us to put together a team of all-stars. Um, basically, most of the uh, picks um, are to be non-Hall of Fame members, which I think is great um, because, you know, it gives other, um, you know, it sheds light on other other channels that may, you know, may or may not be known. I mean, most of the channels I'm going to mention anyway, I think, are pretty known. Um, I haven't really, over the last year or so, haven't um, subscribed to that many new channels, which is on me. That's on me. So um, I'm going to be watching a lot of these videos and trying to get some... Uh, some down low on some of the newer channels uh, that have come on to the uh, onto the scene into the card community. So uh, let's get right to my list. Uh, my starting lineup is going to be, you know, I'm going to do the, you know, batting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So people in my uh, it's going to be my lineup and then my, you know, I'll I'll name the position. So let's get right to it. Batting first and leading off and playing first base is probably the, the best pick I could think of because he actually does play first base. And I think him leading off is great because he's got probably most more energy than anybody else in the community because he's only like 13 years old, and that would be Liam, um, junior baseball fanatic 12. Um, so he is my leadoff hitter and first baseman. He'll get on base. He's got a lot of energy. You know, he'll, he'll get in a, in a scoring position, do all that good stuff. My second hitter playing center field is Adam at Vintage Sanctuary. Um, I just think Adam looks like he has the build to be a, a second place hitter. I don't know. Um, that just he just reminds me of a, you know he's he's tall, he's lanky, good center fielder. Um, so I'm putting Adam in center field, and he's going to bat second on my team. Third base and batting third is John Wade Boggs fan, of course, because he's Wade Boggs fan, right? Wade Boggs played third, so John's got to play third. He's going to hit third. What more can I say about that? Batting cleanup for me is going to be none other than Big Scott 35. I believe Scott said, now correct me if I'm wrong, Scott, but in my mind, I believe he said you, play, you, you were a catcher back in the day. So... You're going to be my catcher, and of course, you're a huge Gary Carter fan, and you're going to be my cleanup hitter, so you're going to be batting fourth on my team. All right, so Big Scott, 35, batting cleanup and playing catcher. Batting fifth, um, I've got Joe, four soft corners at my DH position. Joe's, Joe looks like he can handle the DH position, um, getting a good spot, hitting fifth, driving some runs, the whole nine yard. And batting sixth, I got um, Dom from Staven Sports Cards playing left field. And we know Dom's a huge Red Sox fan. And the Red Sox had like, you know, three Hall of Fame left fielders basically back to back to back. You want obviously Ted Williams, Carly Strzemski, Jim Rice. So let's put Dom in left field and he'll be batting sixth. Seventh, um, a longtime favorite of mine. Um, that I don't know. I don't think he gets a lot of do in the in the community. Um, again, that's just my opinion, and I I, I just I, I love his channel, and that's um, Scott. I love sports cards. He just comes on and he shows cards, and he's on all the time making videos. 
Um, I know he hasn't been feeling well recently, but he's a really uh, cool guy. Just, you know, has an amazing collection. So he is going to be my right fielder, and he's going to be batting seventh, okay? My eighth place um, batter is somebody I've been watching more recently, um, and that's Brandon um, from Brandon's Baseball Cards. Um, I do have a fledgling unopened pack collection. It's not a big focus of mine, but I do like unopened packs. And um, so I really find his channel very interesting. Um, I, I like his take in the hobby. And um, I like he's not afraid to speak his mind. So he's going to be my eighth place hitter and playing um, second base. And my my ninth hitter at shortstop is going to be Dylan at double D. It just reminds me of another leadoff type hitter, maybe a slap hitter. So, you know, your ninth hitter is almost like another leadoff hitter. So um, I like his energy. So I want to put Dylan at ninth playing shortstop. And then my pinch hitter, I have uh, coming off the bench is my pinch hitter, Stooks Baseball Cards and Curiosities. Uh, another channel that I've, you know, really discovered over the last year and really enjoy his um, his channel and his collection. Very, very cool stuff. So that that's my uh, my lineup and my bench. And now I have my, my pitching rotation. And a lot of these guys I've met. So if I've met you and you're not in the Hall of Fame, you're probably going to make my list here. Um, my number one starter is going to be Mike Sticks and Seams. Um, so, uh, he is going to definitely anchor that, that pitching rotation. And then I'm going to have Houston and son as my second starter. And I'm going to have George concrete buddy as my third starter. Um, again, that guy has just, uh, George, you have a, uh, just an amazing, beautiful collection and, uh, you are my third starter. Um, my fourth starter is going to be Sean Tiford, the chosen roster. And I don't believe he's in the Hall of Fame, but that's who I want as my fourth starter. And my relief pitcher is John 3D80's Kids. I like his whole pop culture thing. He kind of is quirky, like maybe a, you know, one of those quirky uh, um, closers from like the 80s. So he's going to be my closer. And then my two rookie of the years, um, the first one is going to be um, Hugo, um, signs of the pastime, amazing, um, videos, uh, Hugo makes. He does a lot of on location things and just got some really cool editing and just his whole, um, his whole delivery is really awesome. He kind of draws you in. I met Hugo a few months ago at the show up in Tampa. Super cool guy, gentleman, awesome guy. So he's definitely one of my cho choices for Rookie of the Year. And my second choice is Mookie Chilson. And um, again, uh, Rookie of the Year has been around, you know, I, right around under a year. And I've really started watching more and more of his videos and really enjoying them. And I like to play on Mookie Wilson with Mookie Chilson. I think it's great. Um, and that, that does it for my, you know, my players. Now I have my coaches. And these guys are Hall of Famers. I think we have to have then our coaches need to have more of a a um, influence over the community, and I think these are really great choices for coaches. So I've got to put Four Leaf as my GM, buddy. You are like the bringer of people together. Like you are the the talent uh, pooler. You get you get everybody together. You're very you know enthusiastic, and you like to bring 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 the brothers together and and do things like that, and and really push the community and uh, sharing collections and and doing things as a team. So, Eric, you're my GM. My manager, uh, manager's got to be, you know, you know, rah, 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 shish, goom, bah. And who other than Nate Tops 8541, uh, 401 uh, is rah, 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 shish, bah. You know, build up the players, give them a lot of, you know, um, give them, bring them energy, and uh, get him gassed up to play. So I think Nate is a perfect person as my manager. My bench coach is going to be Orlando Collector's Dream because I think he's got a good, he's got a uh, yin to um, the yang of, of Nate. 
Um, Orlando is going to be more of the chill, like Zen type of guy, you know, bring guys back down to earth, kind of chill, you know, kind of like that father figure. Awesome. Um, so, um, Orlando collector's dream is my bench coach. My hitting coach is Rick vintage oddball cards. Cause I believe Rick, I believe you were a gym teacher at one time. I believe that's the case. Please tell me if I'm wrong. Anybody tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's what I heard. And just, you know, as a gym teacher, he's got those skills to be able to, you know, teach guys how to hit. So, Rick, you are my hitting coach. Um, my fielding coach is going to be John Mangini because he's so good with the nunchucks and all the martial arts stuff. I think he'd be a great teacher um, and how to field the ball, you know, limber up and be all flexible and all that good stuff. So, John Mangini is going to be my fielding coach. And my first base coach would be Ray from Philly. Yeah, another guy who's kind of get that rah, 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 you know, go get him kind of um, uh, personality. I think Ray would be a very great first base coach for my team. So that's it. That's who I've got. And uh, I want to thank Eric Forley for doing this. I think it's a really great idea. And I don't see why this can't coexist every year with the Hall of Fame. I think it could both could be be run and just again guys it's all about the fun and just uh you know being creative and and uh supporting your fellow uh youtube um creators so that's it that's what i got and uh i'm gonna take off all right guys have a great night everybody uh, enjoy what's left of uh the weekend which is not very much and i hope everybody has a great week at work and i hope everybody is still you know enjoying and loving their collections and uh, I will catch you at the next video. May the cardboard God shine out upon each and every one of you. Good night, guys. Peace. Later.